What's up YouTube land? It's a new year. We got some new videos coming out. And today, there's a little trend I've been noticing that's been going on for a little while. We're gonna be taking this tri-tip. I got a prime tri-tip right here. And we're gonna be smoking it like a brisket. First time doing this, but hey, let's get to it and let's get to cooking. All right guys, so we're back in the house. We got a tri-tip sitting on the cutting board. Now, first thing you gotta do, you gotta get your smoker ready. What I got, I got some B&B charcoal, I got some pecan wood, and I got our grill gun my grill blazer that I'm going to be using today to light this up. So I got it all lit, got my pan in and everything and raised that thing, joker up to 250 degrees and boom, here we are now. Now, I already have one already trimmed up and like I said, we're going to treat this like a brisket. So I'm going to leave the fat cap on just like I did right here because we want a little bit of fat. This is pretty much a lean meat. In California, this is a popular cut of meat you cook it like a steak usually like reverse sear since it's not a lot of fat in it we're going to add to it today i'm going to be using some of this meat church holy cow brisket injection that i have right here already in a cup and that's about a cup to a third of the powder and you just follow directions on the back and for a binder i'm going to be using some of this w sauce american worcestershire sauce however you say it uh, everybody says it different and i'm going to be using some whiskey bent the grind this is a coffee blend rub and also your basic salt and pepper just to start it out. So let's go ahead and show you what I would do. So we got this prime tri-tip and what you want to do on this side, you want to have your sharp knife and you want to get it. Some of this fat, silver skin or thick fat off the top of it. And the goal is to make it look just like the one I got sitting over there. So we're going to get this all cut up show you a couple little pieces what I mean come in the front grab it get under there and just like that see how I expose that meat without taking off so much come over here get some more of that now like I said this is my first time doing this and but it's a trend right now everybody's doing um, I might be a little late to the game but that's okay I'll show you how I do it. So I'm going to continue with this. Take a little more, you know, silver skin off the top. A little more of this hard fat. I'm going to turn it over. Take a little hard fat off the edge. Just not too much because, like I said, we want a little fat on here because it's pretty much lean meat. And then we're going to come back. We're going to get this all rubbed up. All right, so we got these tri-tips trimmed up how we want to. Now, you can spend all day trying to get every little piece of fat but we're not gonna do that. I'm not gonna bother your time up like that today. First thing you wanna do, you wanna put some injection in this. Now you see how the grains are running? This is a key thing to note. Wherever the grains run, you're gonna cut against the grain. So we know when we finish cooking this, we're gonna to to cut this right here in this middle, same right here. Then we're gonna to to cut it against the grain like a brisket and the rest can be cut like the flat. When you're injecting something, you wanna inject with the grain, okay? Cause you don't wanna leave little patches in there. You want a uniform, so I'll get a little bit in there. Not the best injector, but it'll work right there. And kind of move it around. Really, mostly in this small part of the tri-tip is where I really want to get most of it in there. And try to stay with the grain if you can. This is just going to add moisture. It's going to add flavor to our tri-tip. We're trying to put as much as, can, as we can in there because it's such a small piece of meat. We want to incorporate all the moisture, like I said, as we can, and a little more fat at the end. Let's go over here. Kind of pull out. You can just rub some of that juice over that. Get a little more over here. I really like this um, injection. It has a lot of flavor in it. Get a little more. Get some more here on the thicker side. You can see it kind of puff up as you do it. You said the meat puff up. That's mean all that moisture is going to end up spreading. You can tell this one has a little more fat in it towards the back. I'm going to say kind of like the point. Get some more of these small parts. Oh, there you go. It's a squirter. There it is. All right, so we got enough of that. On here, and I'm gonna um, take my hand. I don't have a glove. Open up my W sauce. I'm gonna use this as a binder. Now you don't have to do this, but I want a lot of flavor in this tri-tip. So we want to get 
a little on here. Use your gloved hand, kind of spread it out. Not too much, just enough to coat it so we can get that rub to stick. Do it on this side. Just like that. Okay, turn them over. Put it on this side. Now, as you can see, I didn't take the fat off the top. Some people like to, some people don't. But we're going to cook this like a brisket. And so in my mind, I'm treating it as such. There we go. Get that binder on there. All right. So now I'm going to turn them back over. Right? I'm going to do the first, uh, you know, the meat side first. But I'm going to end it with the bark up. So take a um, base rub. And I got some brisket um, season I made. Got some coarse um, kosher salt, coarse black pepper. And it's got some celery um salt and celery seed in it so go ahead and open that you know sprinkle a little high start with the top you know and you see how thick those granules are that's what we want that's going to help it form a good bark just like that and we're just using it as a base so i'm gonna come over here and the higher you sprinkle your rub on the even more even coating it's going to have Kind of keep my hand on the side. That way I can get the edges like that. And if you want to, raise it up, get the other side. And now, after we do that, we're going to hit it with our coffee rub by the grind. Do the same thing. Put a little more of this on here. This is going to add to much more of our flavor we want. And you're not going to hurt this piece of beef by putting all this rub on it. It's beef, guys. It's, you know, it's going to take up all that. Just like that. You see how pretty that looks? That's how we want that. Do the other one. I got a little close. See, I'm not following my own rules. Do the edge. Okay. I like to give a little, you know, gentle pat down. That way it can stick. Then turn these jokers over. We'll do the other side. Kind of get the rest of that rub that's sitting on the cutting board like that. Now we got that binder on there. Let's go ahead and give the other side. This is we're gonna cook this fat side up today. Like I said, I got my hand right there to get some of that rub. It's a little part of here you don't want to miss right there under that lip. Do the other one. Might want to shake it, rub up a little bit. All the granules are not evenly um, distributed so when you're shaking, so you got to even them out yourself by shaking it. Okay, that's enough on that. And then we'll put our final rub on there. Get a good even coating. Make sure you get the back in case I missed that. Okay. All right, just like that. That's gonna help form that bark. Get under there, don't miss anything. When people, you gotta think about, when people bite into this, what do you want them to taste when they bite? I want them to taste all the seasoning, okay? All right, get a little more, get it covered. And that should be it. So we're going to get these put on the pan and I'll meet you outside and we'll throw these jokers on the smoker. Mm, okay, so now we're outside. Now, I already got my smoker going, and I'm going to be using my Weber Summit charcoal grill. I've had this thing for years. This is my baby right here. Got her all cleaned up for the video. I'm going to be using my CyberQ cloud to hold that temperature. Now, from what I'm seeing, this is going to take about four hours to maybe cook, okay? It's not long. It's a small piece of meat. And let's go ahead and get this thing thrown on there. Now, you see I got me a water pan in there for some moisture and to catch some of those drippings. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one right here, okay? Kind of like a little yin-yang sign, all right? 
and I'm going to put the other side without messing up that bark a little bit right there. Spread it out a little more. Get my temperature probe a little away from that. And that's how we're going to cook it. I got a little space in there so the heat can come up in evenly. Close it down and in about an hour we'll come out here and um, spray it. Maybe an hour and a half. If I'm treating it like a brisket, like I said, you know, you don't want to be out here all the time. You know, if you're looking, you ain't cooking is what the saying is. So let's get it closed. I might give it a little two hours. Now, CyberQ should bring it back up to 250. Let's go ahead and relax. Maybe have us a beer or something. Enjoy the weather. 65 degrees here in January in Texas. And stay tuned for more. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. See where we're holding at it in temperature. Get it looked at. All right. Look at that. Let's go ahead and I got my um, MK4 Thermapen by Thermaworks. And we're going to stick it right there in the deep part. About 148. Let's test this other one out. Right there, about 148. Kind of even on the temps. We'll bring it up to about at least 165. And then we'll probably get ready to wrap it. In the meantime, got me a little bit of apple cider vinegar. And I got a little bit of water in here. And so let's go ahead and give it a spray. Keep it moist. And that's what we want to do. Go ahead and get this lid closed so we can get smoking. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and, all right, guys, so let's look. All right, all right guys, so check this out. You know, it's winter time. It gets dark fast. First time doing this, so it's, the, the light is creeping out on me. So let's go ahead and get these wrapped. Let's go ahead and show you, though, that it's time they're ready to wrap. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this camera real quick, and I'm going to show you the bark on these okay good old bark and I'm gonna take my thermo pen and I'm gonna show you in the thickest one where we're looking at 165 166 and 167 let's look over here see how different it is yeah 157 but I think it can be wrapped might be a little tougher in there 158 all right turn that one thing off right there thing gets on my nerves and let's get them over here on this butcher paper we're gonna get it all wrapped up and I do have some fat I'm going to use so guys I got some filtered bacon grease that I've been filtering you can use beef tallow you can use butter but the reason for that I want to make sure this got a lot of moisture back into it when I wrap it and once I get it wrapped up we're gonna bring the temperature on the smoker back up to um, about 275 since they're already wrapped and Right at then, you know, you're not really much hurting it. You're just getting it to temperature, getting it to feel. And if it's too dark out here, guys, you'll be meeting me back inside, inside the house. And right after they're arrested, we'll be cutting into these bad boys to see how they look. All right, guys, so I'll, let's get them all wrapped up. I'll show you how I do that. So what we want to do, I want to go ahead and take my bacon grease. And I want to tack up the butcher paper a little bit. Got this brush. That way, it's not trouble with it folding. Like I said, you can use any kind of fat you want. You don't have to do this at all if you want, but I, I find that it actually helps. Okay, and it's nothing like that bacon grease on there. Let's get that put on there. Man, look at that right there. That looks real good. Look, at, look at the crust. That looks so good. We're gonna get it put right there. The same thing we would do with a brisket, kind of bring it over, get it folded just like that, okay? Get it tucked. We're gonna make a wrap, okay? And then we're gonna make another one. And that's how we wanna do it. Let's go ahead and do the other one.
All right, guys, so it's time to get these bad boys off. Now, as far as time is concerned, you know, first time doing this, and it's looking about almost six hours, about six hours for it took for these to cook. I wanted to make sure I get these right. I didn't want to rush them and get them off too soon, and they weren't real tender. Let's go ahead and look at my Thermalworks smoke. Looks like one of them, the thickest one, is holding at 203. And I did bring the temp up a little um, when I moved them up to the top rack. You can see right now the top one is showing about 250 for the um, summit. Let's go ahead and look at this. Now, I do got some sausage on here I'm going to be cutting up because we're going to make some sandwiches. And I want to go ahead and get this probe in. Ooh, we got to go through deep. There it is. So 204. Right there, excuse the shaking on the phone. Let's look at this one over here. 95, 96. Now that one's taking a little bit longer to do it. Okay, but in all in all, I think it's ready to go. We're gonna get these off. We're gonna let them rest in the house for about 10, 15 minutes and we're gonna get the slice and see how they turned out. I'm very interested to see if this works well. All right, guys, so it's late, looks late because it's dark outside, but it's only about seven o'clock. So all in all, this took me about six and a half hours with the rest time, a lot longer than I expected. But hey, I wanted to do it how I would do it and get it right. I wanted to come out tender. Now let's look at this. I got the butcher paper. You saw me use some fat, I used that bacon fat. So that should have helped to keep some moisture. Let's get it all, let's get it, let's get it looked up look at this now that's telling me it's gonna look juicy this is supposed to look like a brisket and so far man oh man look at that juice goodness gracious look at look how it's coming up it's just this it feels real pliable i'm gonna save that juice uh oh i'm gonna save that juice and put it over here on the side okay much as i can and like I said, you know, we, we watched it run the grain and we're going to have to cut it right here in the middle. Boy, oh boy. Just a little bit of smoke ring on the bottom. Not much, but it looks good. So we're going to have to cut part of this just like that. You see the grain running? Let's cut it like that. Let me cut this in half so I can get a piece in the middle. Okay, let me cut this one. That's not a real thin piece. Look at that right there. Look at the juice. Now it should hold up on its own weight. Okay, pull real easy. Give it a taste. Oh my God. Okay, now that is a cheaper version for $27. Y'all, I'm gonna have to feed my wife. She's filming, but I gotta give her a piece. She's okay for right now. She's trying to, it's hot. <laughs> anyway, look at that. Y'all blow it. Taste that, baby. That is good. That is prime tri tip, guys. Yep. First time doing this. Oh, wow. Awesome. Look at that. Looks real good. Woo. So we can get this all sliced up, guys. We're going to make some sandwiches out of these. I got some bread. I got some uh, candy jalapenos. Let me taste this with a candy jalapeno. Look at that. Give me a little piece right there. Mmm. Mmm, mm, mm. that's good. So guys, well, it's time to eat. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hey, happy new year. First video of the year. Stay tuned for more videos. Hit the like button, subscribe. Look for the next video. Um, hit the instant notification bell, guys. We've got more videos coming out. Stay tuned for more toothpicks. Mm -mm.
All right, guys, so we're back in the house. We got our tri tip going. Oh, no, I ain't got it going yet. <laughs> I think I can get it. 